Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to make your Father's Day surprise. Um, I'm going to be using whatever this is. It's like uh, some cardstock paper basically because I gave all of you um, all of the canvases we had at the school. So, um, but that's fine, I don't need it. So, and what I did already before starting this video is I covered, um, well, I didn't cover, but I put, you should also have your roll of tape with you, your roll of masking tape. Um, so I put strips of masking tape on here and I kind of did it in a random way um, so that there is still a lot of white space. So I'm not sure if you can see it. Oh, maybe I'll carry it a little bit closer for you to see. So, I don't know. Okay, well, once I color it, you'll be able to see it a lot better. Okay, so I'm just gonna start coloring. So basically, um, traditionally with this kind of art, you would use paint and paint all of the white space, whatever colors you want, and then um, peel the, the tape off. Okay, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it with markers. You could really do it with anything. You could do it with paint, markers, crayons, colored pencils, any kind of materials that you have with you. If you do it in paint, I have to tell you, um, give yourself a lot of time, okay? Because if you paint, um, you need to make sure that your paint is completely dry before you pull off your tape, okay? Because we are going to pull off the tape at the end of this. We're not going to leave it on. Okay, so I'm going to be using these markers, all right? And you could do this any kind of way you want. You can color in every blank space a different color. You could do a combination of colors and make it look blended. Um, yeah, so it's really up to you. You could do different textures if you want, anything, okay? So I think I'm going to do, I'm gonna try and do different colors, um, but I think I might blend them. So maybe here I'll do blue, maybe I'll blend it with some purple or something. Okay, so here's the blue and you see I'm only coloring until I get to the tape. Okay, and if you if you get paint or whatever color that you're using on the tape, that's fine because you're gonna rip it off anyway. Okay, now I'm worried I'm going to get marker on the whiteboard, which hopefully does not happen. So usually when I blend when I blend colors, I make a line in the middle. Oh man, which one was I using? This one? Don't remember. And then you kind of try and mix it like this. Some colors are easier to blend than others. All right. Um, maybe in the next one I'll do gradient. So maybe I'll do really dark and then we'll get lighter as you go out. Ah, really hope I didn't get on the board. Okay, so that one just stayed solid green. Um, let's see, I'm going to do, I think I'm gonna do some dots. Eh, will dots work for this? Maybe not, I think I'm just gonna color solid. Did I already use this blue? Perhaps not. And I am coloring way outside the lines, guys, or way, way outside the tape. 
I should say. And that's totally fine. Okay. Okay. I need some new colors. Here's some more green. Uh, I'll do some other green. This is a nice one, actually. Here's some red. Maybe I'll do this one a gradient too. Maybe I'll do a mix between this one and the red. I think I will. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna come back in with the red. Ooh, my arm is getting so tired. Same red. No, it's kind of orange. I want to add some to this one because it's kind of looking sad. Okay. Do we need? We need. Let's do some hot pink. I think I'm gonna bring in this kind of nude color and mix them. Oh, this is a little different than I expected. That's okay. 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 And then maybe I'll do some yellow. Where are we on time? Oh, already pretty far. And then, oh, one more, two more. Okay, one little one here. And then one there. We'll do a little bit more green. Oh, this board moves way too much. I'll do a lighter green.
Okay, whatever. I think I'll just bring this down to the corner. That other green is too like, oh. Uh... Okay, cool, it does wash off the board. Yay! All right. So now that you have, and I'll just checking. Okay, so for sure all of my, my uh, blank spaces are, are colored. Okay, so I'm going to start taking off the tape. And remember, if you did paint your canvas, please leave, you know, at least wait a few hours. I recommend leaving it overnight to dry. Okay, because what'll happen if you try and peel your tape off too soon, if you painted it, is you will start peeling off um, some of your paint also. And um, yeah, that would be really sad. Also, if your paint is um, still wet, it could bleed through onto the places that should be, be blank still. So yes, just do your best to wait. And I'm gonna peel off my tape now. Okay. Also, when you peel off tape, it's a good idea to keep it angled down. Okay, so try and do it this way. Um, just taking off some of my other tape too. Or ang angling it to the side like this is helpful as well. Looks like some of the marker bled through a little bit, um, which is okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh wait, no it didn't. It was just on my tape still. Okay, cool. Ah! And it looks like my tape did end up ripping ah! a little bit of my paper here. But it's okay, it's not the end of the world. Um, I don't think it should rip your canvas. I think my paper is just not meant for this kind of thing here. Okay. Also, ripping at this angle is not ideal. In fact, okay, I'm just gonna take it off now. And I'm gonna finish ripping it here in my lap. Wow, I got marker all over my hands. I have to make sure to wash them after I'm done. Okay, so I'm almost done with the tape now. Yay! All right, so here it is. And it looks very beautiful. Looks like this red bled through a little bit, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Or actually, I don't think it did. I think that was the angle. Yeah, it didn't bleed through. Okay, it all worked out. Awesome. So now you're left with this beautiful masterpiece and we're not done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of customize it more to your own dad. Now remember, Father's Day is usually about celebrating fathers, but it doesn't have to just be about celebrating fathers. It can be celebrating anyone who's a father figure in your life, who you look up to, who's a role model for you, who has helped you and inspired you and supported you in your life, right? Um, so this can be uh, maybe an uncle. This could also be maybe, maybe um, a teacher who you're really close with, maybe one of your your friend's parents who's always there for you. Um, it could really be anyone who you want who plays that father figure role, okay? So what I want you to do is either think of compliments for that person 
um, think of words that describe them or and so or and you can use all these you could pick one um, or why you're thankful for them or why you love them and, and care about them okay and I want you to write a list of those words okay um, or compliments and that's what we're going to write in the blank space here okay if you want you could also find a quote if you think um, you found a quote that really describes that that person in your life um, I really liked this quote. So it says, a father is someone you look up to no matter how tall you grow. Um, I really like that one. So I might write that on mine. I also might think of compliments. I might think of some words, right, um, to describe them or why I'm, I'm thankful. And then I'm going to write that, okay? So I'm going to write the quote first and then I'm going to think of some other words to describe them, okay? So... Also, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to write the quote when it's at different angles. So I'm gonna to have to figure this out. Um, I may start the quote here and then right here. I don't know, we'll have to see. Or it might be easier to just write descriptive words. So I might just stick with that. Okay, you can use a Sharpie. You could use another colored marker, pretty much anything you want. Um, I think I'm going to use this marker. Hopefully it works. Seems like it does. Okay, um, so let's see. I'm going to write, um, courageous. Um, remember to write a draft of these words first so you spell them right okay or if you want to change something you can thoughtful um i'm going to put open-minded Um, um, creative. Um, maybe I'll put, oh, I think I'm going to put courageous and kind. Thoughtful, um, I think I'm gonna put forgiving, maybe somewhere. Maybe I'll put it here. Sorry, I'm gonna block the screen real quick. Forgiving, um, loving. Supportive. Motivated. Okay. If you want to do compliments, you could say, um, I love that you always support me. If you want to do what you're thankful for, you could say, I'm thankful to have you in my life, right? I'm thankful that you're my father or that you're my my dad or that I'm thankful that I have you to look up to, right? Any of these kinds of things. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop there because my spaces are getting a little too small. Um, okay, so thank you for joining me. Of course, if you have any questions about any of what I just showed you, um, feel free to email us, feel free to uh, make a post on Google Classroom or comment on the Google Classroom post um, that has this in it, the, the group time post for Tuesday. Okay, um, yeah, thanks for joining me, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.